very juicy. Hold on, what's the name again? Buenos dias and welcome to the last destination here after three months in Argentina and we are here in the wine capital of not just Argentina but arguably also South America in Mendoza. Yes, this region has over 1,500 wineries, so it was not easy to choose just one for us to tour, but we're here at Bodega Salentine in the Uco Valley, about an hour and a half from downtown Mendoza. And the wine tour that we're doing today cost us about $40 or $20 if you're doing the black market rate. More on that in the description below. And we're super excited. Everything looks beautiful. It's a beautiful fall day. A little bit cloudy, but it looks amazing. I'm excited. I'm super pumped. Let's go. Right here, we actually have Malbec grapes, where Malbec wine is made from, and harvesting just ended last week in April, and we can actually give this a try now, which is really cool. So, Ali, why don't you give it a try, see, see how it compares. Okay. Oh my gosh, they're so sweet. I did not expect that. Really, really good. They're a bit dry, but the taste is amazing. I'm gonna give it a try. It's like very natural. Like at the grocery store, it feels like very like fake yeah. and very, but this is actually really good, like very juicy and I like it better. I like this better than most grapes. Sweet. Thumbs up. Very good. Thumbs up. Apparently when you see all of these vine rows at a certain angle, it's all about the sun. So on this side right here, it gets sun evenly across all of the vines in the morning. And then this side, like kind of like the opposite angle, it gets sun evenly in the afternoon. just came here in the actual wine cellar of Salentine and you get hit with this beautiful aroma of all of these different kind of white and red wine smells and we just learned that actually the name Salentine came from this Dutch family that settled here in the area which is really cool learning a ton can't even share everything here on camera but trying to do as much as we can but it's beautiful and of course we're behind so we got to go all right guys check this out so we're here kind of in the center part and this whole complex is sort of shaped like a Greek cross, specifically designed more for sustainability to reduce the need for a lot of kind of additional um, energy, which is really beautiful. And then right down is the actual kind of cellar. You can see down here, designed sort of like a Greek theater. They actually used to have concerts here kind of pre-COVID, trying to get that back up. Um, and the, you can see the stone down there is made of actual um, three different types of stone here in the area. So very sustainable, a lot of like local type of, um, obviously the local wine, the local stone, just ridiculously impressive. It's you guys so can see this. Beautiful. Yeah. Seen this wine cellar this beautiful. Yeah, yeah it's super impressive. So we bottle uh, around 2,000 uh, bottles per hour and we produce 3 million liters per year on this winery. Incredible. We also have a really special edition of white wine. Cheers. <laughs> finished our vineyard slash wine tour and it was amazing so worth it yeah really really enjoyed it like there's it's it was so interesting all of the information yeah as well. I can't even retain all the information that we yeah. had try to share as much as we could with you but like obviously just really good information about everything the winemaking process the Andes mountains obviously the scenery just externally it was beautiful um, on clear days today was a little bit cloudy but clear you can actually see the Andes mountains in the distance um, but still super beautiful 
Yeah, and actually the staff said that the best time of year to come for like, you know, the beautiful scenery is April. April is, they start the harvest. Yeah, we heard multiple, we asked like multiple staff, like we always do, like, hey, yeah. what's the best time to visit? And they're like, yeah, April, April, April. April, because it starts in the fall, so you have the colors and you see, you know, really well of the mountains, oh, especially in the non-cloudy day. Yeah, but apparently it's beautiful pretty much all year round, because yes. in the winter, then you see the snow on top of the mountains. Yeah. In the summer, you know, everything's kind of green and everything, so, you know, I think it's gonna be beautiful all the yes. time, but wow. And then obviously inside the actual kind of like cellar was ridiculous if you guys saw it. It was beautiful, I've seen. So well thought out, so interesting, just the whole structure, the aesthetic, um, the wine of course that we had was fantastic. The group we were with was great. It was just a really wonderful experience. A hundred percent worth it. And I do feel that we've stumbled on kind of the best vineyard in Mendoza. That's yes. what I feel. I Me too, for sure, for sure. I mean, it was highly recommended and I did a lot of research to pick this one. Yeah but it did not disappoint, seriously. Yeah, definitely not. And now, as you can kind of see, we are here actually in the art gallery. So here, kind of with your ticket to go on the wine tour, uh, includes the tour of the, you know, wine tasting, the tour. Then you also have access to this kind of art gallery and there's a chapel nearby that we're going to go to after. You can also get lunch here if you want. They, they do have a restaurant and a cafe, but you have to make reservations before. And we had trouble having on the same day, both the tour and availability yeah, we even for did, the- It was like what, a week in advance we tried to get yes. the, the lunch and we it was like pretty booked. So apparently the lunch here is pretty popular. Yeah, it's very popular. So definitely book it in advance. I heard great things about it, so I'd consider. Yeah, so I mean, the food's probably good, but I mean, really here for the wine. Yes. here to our car we had such an amazing time and we also met a brazilian couple we're talking to them for a long time but it was so nice so yeah, nice. And had a wonderful we were experience. here so long they ended yeah. up closing the building yes. so like we had to walk all the way around back to the car so awesome time spent here way yes. longer than i thought just because the the area is so beautiful yes. and really great people so yeah, i'm starving i'm so hungry let's go find some food are back in Mendoza City here at Ana Bistro and here in the city there's a little bit more eating options than kind of out toward the wineries and we literally just got served this feast before us uh, but first to drink we were, got a little bit sick of wine just because we had our fill so we're like okay let's take a break for a little bit so what I have here in my hand is the most popular cocktail in all of Argentina which is called Fernet or Fernet I don't know Fernet con coca or coca-cola with Fernet so Fernet is this apparently like herbal liquor that's made here in Argentina and like super popular and makes this cocktail very popular. So I'm gonna give it a try. Very interesting. It tastes like eucalyptus. Obviously I take the Coca-Cola, very herbal and very interesting. almost like I'm tasting essential oils. And the cocktail that I got is called Mendoza Sour, which is a twist on a popular drink from Chile and Peru called Pisco Sour. But the twist is this one has Malbec wine in it. And Malbec really took off here in Argentina. So I'm super curious to try. Let's check it out. It's actually really good. I'm not really a cocktail person, but I really like this one. It tastes a little bit like cherry candy. I don't know why, maybe because of the wine. And the foam here is actually a really good add-on texture. Cheers. And to eat, Ali and I both got a couple different cuts of steak. And if you didn't already know, Argentina is known for its beef, boasts some of the best steak in the world. So of course, we had to try some, especially here in Mendoza, apparently it's also pretty typical. This is the best kind of steak I've had yet. Seriously, that is so good. 
We hope you liked today's adventure. We loved having you yes. along the way. And be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel for even more adventures, not only in this beautiful country of Argentina that we love to see, but all over the world, including our next stop, Peru. We hope to see you there, but until then, ciao. ciao.